We are back with the second episode in the Setup Wars series. The first episode was a freaking hit. You guys loved it, so we're going to keep it rolling. Let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Welcome back, guys. I am so stoked for episode two. This was so much fun to make the first time. I have a feeling it's going to be probably even more fun to make this time around. You guys absolutely loved this series, so I thought it was fantastic all the way around. I'm super excited to keep it rolling. So the first person that we are going to be showing off here is going to be Kenny the Boss. If you guys remember, now this was, shoot, this was months ago, probably, I don't know, maybe August, September-ish time frame. That could be wrong. But anyway, I was in Moscow. It was on a live stream. It was live. I've made a, a separate video of it as well. It was absolutely hilarious. We were in Moscow and I was running around fighting enemy, uh, well, really, I guess more or less just attacking and destroying it, weak enemy bases. Well, this base dropped in and I'll link the actual video in the description of the video if you guys want to go look at it. Well, this base dropped in. I clicked on the base when it deployed and it was like a hundred and something million power. I'm like, okay, great. Like, this is going to be a weak base. I'm just going to go attack it and, you know, move on. Well, I got the kicked out of me. And it turned out it was Kenny. And so I started, I tried to find him and it was a whole deal. I didn't know Kenny really before that. He ended up joining the community server and we had a good laugh about it. Like I said, I made a video about it. Long story short, Kenny was ridiculously strong. Fun fact about Kenny too, he's also a completely free to play player. And I'm like, how in the world did I just get the kicked out of me? Now, there was like conquest buffs and stuff like that in play, of course, but like that did not account for the ass beating that I took. Um, and anyway, Kenny is a specialist, I guess is the best way to word that. So what I mean by that is he invests in his walls, his fortified walls. That's where he focuses all of his his resources, time and energy. And he also only develops artillery units, as you guys can see on screen. Now, we're going to talk about a couple of different things that Kenny is doing that's actually pretty smart. We'll talk about that as we kind of work here. That's kind of Kenny's approach, completely free to play. He focuses on his walls and his defense focused stuff within his base and technology pretty exclusively. He obviously is invested in his artillery as well. He's running a multi ATG setup and a Liberty artillery setup. So let's start from the top and then we'll kind of work as we whistle here. So starting from the top, you guys can see we have got a 7.2 unit and a 7.1 unit with one unit of each trained. Now we're going to circle back to that and why he's doing that here in a minute, because at first take, you guys might be like, well, well, that's stupid. He's got 10.2 K reserves, which you guys can see at the top. Why wouldn't he train them all? And there's actually a good reason for that followed by two 9.1 anti-tank guns and then a 9.2 Liberty artillery unit. Now, you guys have heard me say, if you guys will take a look at his second ATG there, right above the Liberty artillery unit, he is, you guys have heard me say in recent videos that Kenny was the one that runs tip of the spear on his anti-tank gun. And you guys can see there his setup. He's got tip of spear with Argent Flame. But his thought process, he and he swears by this, but he says that running that combination paired with specific officer skills is just the holy grail of officer combinations for the anti-tank gun. I don't know exactly what those officer skills are at this time. I know there's been a lot of new officers added into the game. Maybe I'll have to find out for Kenny. Maybe I'll, I'll get Kenny on a video or something like that. We'll, we'll work it out and we'll try to see what his philosophy and thought process is. Outside of that, though, his other uh, officer are setups for his other anti-tank gun and then his Liberty artillery are pretty top tier. Let's talk about why on the 7.2 and 7.1 units, he only trained one unit. Here's why. Obviously, especially when you are playing when modern units unlock, 7.2 and 7.1 units are not going to do really anything for you from that point forward. However, he doesn't want to take those troop losses and understandably so I wouldn't either. So what he did is he trained one unit from each. So that way, if his base does get destroyed, he's not going to be losing nearly as many troops and reserves. But when you have just a single unit trained up like that, you are still going to get the benefit of the officer skills firing off. So that's that's the reason why he's having the one troop trained. And then we can see Air Force. Like I said, Kenny has went all in on his artillery and his base defense. He has got absolutely pretty much nothing 
uh, in regards to Air Force, which is fine, but you guys can see he's done the smart approach here and he has just deployed, not even trained. He has just simply deployed three Liberty Air Force units so that way he can get the camp buffs. And I don't know if I said this at the beginning, but Kenny is in server 14 as he is part of the 14 Alliance. But yes, all around pound for pound, Kenny is a absolute monster. Super great guy too. He offers a really unique insight into the game. So I really appreciate you, Kenny, for sharing your setup with me and you know providing some of your insight in the community server as well. And for you guys watching, if you're not in the community server, it's another reason why it's at least worth your time to consider joining. You got Kenny in there. Up next, we have my man, Drunken Prince. He is in ZD in server 32. He is going to be rocking a Martyr's Watch 9.2 helicopter, a Liberty Artillery at 9.2, a Vanguard Heli at 9.1, a Vanguard Super Heavy at 8.1, and then a Martyr's Watch Artillery at uh, 8.2. Officer setup wise, I, I I like what he's doing. The, the only interesting, I shouldn't even say interesting combo because the Argent Flame and Eye of Providence is a really, I mean, I'm not gonna say it's a bad combination. I mean, both of those guys together individually have super impressive skills. And I understand why he's got Saber of the Nation and Antonina paired together as well, too. That makes sense. I would maybe consider just swapping those officer pairings on the different units because you want that. If it was me anyway, I would want Eye of Providence, for example, who's, you know, the cheat code against bases. I would want that on my Liberty Artillery that's more than likely going to be attacking bases. But that's that's really the only, only tweak there I would make. In regards to his Vanguard helicopter, I would probably flip-flop the Lady Justice and Guardian of Truth combination, just so you get Lady Justice firing her higher damage coefficient first. And then same thing with that Martyr's Watch helicopter. I'd put Golden Eagle in the lead officer spot, then followed by Valkyrie, so you get the higher damage coefficient as the lead officer. Overall, very impressive setup. He's got some strong, strong units, that is for sure. Definitely doesn't look like he has done much in regards to Air Force. He has got a Vanguard fighter that is a 9.1. He has got a Liberty fighter that is an 8-star, and then he has a 7-star Martyr's Watch fighter. So, doesn't look like he's done too much in regards to Air Force. However, he does have a pretty good officer combination there on his main Vanguard fighter. Up next is going to be my man, Make My Day. He was in server 24 with me. He has since moved to server 36. He is part of FWZ now, and Make My Day is a freaking beast. All right, starting from the top, we have got a 9.2 Liberty Artillery, a 9.2 Martyr's Watch Howitzer Artillery Unit, a, nine po a second 9.2 Liberty Artillery Unit, and then a 9.2 Martyr's Watch Infantry Unit, followed last but not least by the eight-star Vanguard anti-tank gun. So overall, freaking monster here doesn't appear to run a tank i feel like i i feel like he does maybe he doesn't i'm not sure i feel like though when i was in server 24 with him he definitely ran some kind of tank unit i definitely think it was a helicopter so he may flip-flop depending on the situation maybe he doesn't but he is definitely geared towards i know he would primarily run like artillery army groups and things like that which would make sense considering he he appears to have gone all in on his artillery here with his one infantry unit for tanking. But overall, B set up here. I mean, he's got pretty pretty comparable combinations to what I run in regards to, uh, you know, I don't have Saber of the Nation fully awakened yet, but he's got Saber and Antonina. And then he's got Eye of Providence and Eruptor, which I run on my rocket launcher, Argent Flame with Mistero, Beast combination, and then awesome combination there on his infantry. So overall, Seems to be doing just fine. I would probably, the only thing I would probably tweak here, and again, this is more just highlighting setups, not necessarily offering criticism or suggestions to people, but just kind of on face value, the only thing that I might consider changing if I was uh, make my day, swapping Golden Eagle and Berserker Bear just to get that higher damage coefficient on that ATG. But other than that, I mean, I guess to be fair also, it's not even level 200, it's eight star, so it's not gonna do too terribly much anyway, but just food for thought. But overall, Beast Ground Force setup. Let's see what he's got in store for his Air Force. For his Air Force, he has got a fully juiced up 9.2 Vanguard fighter with uh, a pretty solid combination there. It does not look like he's got Darkwing Awakened yet. He may be close, maybe not, but Darkwing is a beast regardless. He has the Special Air Force, uh, Special Rome Air Force Liberty Bomber there, and then he has, it looks like, the Martyr's Watch Bomber as well. So overall, really solid 
uh, Air Force lineup for Make My Day. And then next up, we have my man, Willie Thompson, Machine Gun Thomas. He is a freaking monster. If you guys remember, I did the podcast interview with Willie Thomas back in the day, uh, earlier last year. If you guys have not watched that, it's definitely worth your time. Willie is a seasoned vet, a very, very notable player in Warpath. He has been around. He started out in server 12. He is now in server 42 uh, with me. He is in the GHK Alliance in server 42. He is a, again, OG veteran to Warpath. Started out in server 12 when it first opened up for iOS. He He's, again, very notable player. Definitely check out that interview. He offers some very unique insight and ideas to the game and to just strategy and just different things in general. So it might be an enjoyable watch for you guys. But starting from the top here, we have a 9.2 Martyrs Howitzer. We have a 9.2 Liberty Artillery, two 9.2 Liberty Artilleries, actually. We have a 9.2 Vanguard Infantry and a 9.2 Martyrs Watch Helicopter. And every one of those units are just juiced up and monstrous. I mean, from top to bottom, the officer combinations are i mean just spot spot on we've got lady liberty with saber of the nation that's a monster combo in the open field against bases whatever and then we have argent flame and antonina there everbloom angel of light we have professor pain and lord of order i mean that's top to bottom i mean that is just a monster a freaking monster combination the only the only thing that is interesting to me and I'll have to talk to him about this. The only thing that's interesting to me is why he's got three artillery units, but he doesn't have I've Providence on any of them. Because I'm pretty sure he's got him awakened. I think he's got pretty much everything awakened for the most part. So I'm not really sure why he doesn't have I've Providence in his lineup there. That would be interesting unless he's, this is just his base defensive setup, but I'll have to talk to him about that. And then he has got just a stack of a Air Force setup here. He has a 9.2 Vanguard fighter. It's the special Rome version, but he also has just a standard version, as you guys can see below that. And then he has got a fully juiced up 9.2 Liberty bomber. So he is certainly not lacking in the Air Force department either. And then last but not least, we have Corrupted. You guys, or many of you guys know Corrupted. He is one of the official Warpath Discord moderators. He is in Server 42. Too. He is in the TBO Alliance. He's got, he's an incredibly smart player. He is all into the numbers and the analytical side of things. He has got a pretty interesting and kind of unique setup similar to Kenny. He, uh, I think Corrupted probably spends just a little bit of money. Well, in fact, let me rephrase what I'm saying. I know he spends a little bit of money considering the fact he's got exclusive lounge officers, but he, uh, He's got an interesting take here. So he runs two two tanks, a helicopter and a light tank, which that's fantastic. But he's got a dual exclusive lounge officer combination in Lord of Order and Professor Payne there on his Martyr Watch helicopter. And then on his Liberty light tank, he has got Rapier with Golden Eagle. So both of those combinations are fantastic. And then I'm assuming he just doesn't have really any other modern units built or, or anything like that because he, he's running two, three stars. So I'm not sure if that's like supposed to be. And I'm, I'm being genuine uh, when I'm saying this. I don't know uh, if that's just like as a joke for this, if he sent me th <laughs> three star units to be funny because I mean, it is kind of funny, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that's, a, that's got to be a joke. Oh man, that's got to be a joke. Um, so yeah, that <laughs> that's where we're at. And then for the Air Force here for Corrupted, we have a 9.2 Vanguard fighter. And then we have got two Vanguard units that are untrained for camp buffs. I mean, can we can we take a minute, guys? I mean, let, let's just let's just talk about something here for a minute. <laughs> I get the camp buffs. I get the camp. I'm just laughing. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I get the camp buffs. I genuinely get the camp buffs. But three, surely, we, surely, surely, surely we've got a four star Vanguard unit somewhere, right? Like I have auto dis auto disassemble for all three star units and he's got he's got two three star units display. I can't get my head wrapped around that. That is that's absolutely hilarious. And I, I love corrupted. He's he's a friend. So I'm certainly not not making fun of him. But this is funny. I'm thinking he did. He maybe did this to troll me. Maybe not. He'll probably let me know in the comments, though. All right, guys, that is going to wrap us up for the second episode of the Setup Wars series. I had a blast once again making it. Hope you guys enjoyed it just the same as before. Thank you guys for all of the love and support on the first episode. I'm super excited to continue to make these. It's 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 genuinely a lot of fun to see the different setups and officer combinations and just a 
approaches in general to get the game and, and the style of gameplay that different people like and prioritize. So I'm fascinated by it. So I really do enjoy this, this, this video series. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys are already ready for episode three for Setup Wars, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel. Both of those things help the channel and the video out tremendously. Let's try to get this video to like 105 likes at least. Let's see if we can hit at least 105 likes. And if you guys have made it this far into the video, if you guys have access to Discord and are not already in our community Discord server, the link to that is going to be in the description of the video. Click on that link. It'll take you right into the community Discord server. Whether you're a new player, maybe you have questions, you know, you want to ask, get some help, get some guidance, whether you're a veteran player and just want to come hang out with people in the community. Doesn't matter. Everybody's welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me on the video today, guys, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.